Time now for our alumni in your community segment. This month, we spotlight a former state police sergeant who now plays an active role as chair of the BCC Alumni Association. Hello, everybody. I'm Peter Silva. I'm a graduate of the child care program, BCC 1973. I grew up in Fall River in the Globe section of the city. You know, we had parks in every neighborhood, so we spent almost all of our time in the parks playing all different kinds of games. And uh, by the time I was 12 years old, believe it or not, I was already working. I had uh, newspaper routes. I had two newspaper routes. I, uh, even at age 12, 13, I would go over to Somerset and Swansea with uh, the farm trucks and pick string beans and um, just, you know, just kept busy like that until uh, junior high school. I went to Henry Lord and, uh, you know, went through the regular kid thing of playing sports and everything like that. I did, held my own in school, wasn't the, uh, you know, wasn't an ace guy, but uh, found that I was curious and, you know, became a, a curious reader. Even from that age, I was always into books and learning and, uh, you know, so that progressed, as you know, to uh, a graduate of BCC, 1973. I first heard about uh, BCC uh, during my senior year, probably in high school. You know, everybody turns to going to college and where you're going to go, how you're going to go. And for me, growing up, uh, there was no chatter in my house about going to college. And um, everything I had done growing up, basically, you know, I had financed myself, uh, bought my own clothes, bought my own car, everything like that. So, you know, going to school, where was the money going to come from? And, you know, through the grapevine, I heard that uh, Bristol Community College was a school that was uh, affordable. I mean, it, it was just a, uh, an understanding. If you wanted to go to college, everybody could go to BCC. I was interested in the, uh, the child care program. I, I think perhaps uh, in, in, in high school, I did a, a couple of stints as a big brother for a different, uh, maybe two or three different kids I was a big brother for. And so I think I got a, uh, you know, I became interested in uh, kids and often, often kids, and there were orphanages in Fall River. And so I think that's uh, kind of like what led me into the child care program. I hope to be a counselor in, a, uh, in an orphanage setting, uh, you know, working with, with uh, those juveniles. After I graduated from uh, Bristol Community College, I uh, wanted to pursue my uh, child care degree by uh, working in a setting, an orphanage setting. And um, <clears throat> so I was uh, taken, I had, I had applied for the court division program and was on the waiting list as a, uh, as a court officer when uh, I had taken the, uh, the test for state police in the interim and um, was, was uh, passed the test and was asked to uh, enter the next class. And um, I, I entered the state police class in 1974 and uh, obviously graduated and followed a, I had a 32 year career with the state police. During my time with the state police, which was a little over 32 years, I um, was assigned to uh, different, uh, different units. Uh, to make it quick, the state police has basically two divisions, uh, field services and investigative services. I spent the first maybe uh, 10 years on the road, so to speak, doing uh, that kind of enforcement. And then I moved over to investigative services, and that's where I... Um, you know, I did undercover work, I did white collar crime, I did uh, lots of work with the feds, working with, uh, you know, ATF and the things you hear about on TV, DEA and uh, the FBI. I did a lot of work with all of those uh, types of federal organizations. And I ended up uh, retiring in 2007 um, after a 32 year career. I have three children and one daughter, my oldest, she uh, is now attending uh, Bristol Community College in the Occupational Therapy Program. She had a very successful career uh, with Sally May. She was uh, assigned to 
uh, Ivy League schools as an exclusive intermediary for Sally Mae, but that whole career kind of folded up, and now she's at BCC, uh, uh, turning her life around with a new career. I have a son, Corey. He actually is a school teacher uh, in the city of Fall River, and um, my youngest boy. I have a stood a second son, Nicholas, and uh, he's in New Bedford. He's trying. He's finishing up at UMass uh, Amherst, uh, excuse me, UMass Boston, and he's working part-time while he finishes school up. Uh, but they're all very good kids, and um, you know, so far so good with all of that. I have uh, a niece who also attended uh, Bristol Community College. She, uh, she came here from uh, the Cape Verde Islands and went right to the top. She was a uh, honor student, graduated in 04, and now she's in law school um, where she's getting, uh, she's getting A's at the uh, New England School of Law in Landover. So I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud to have BCC uh, in my family's life. I got involved with the Alumni Association through a combination of uh, family ties. I have a, a cousin, Virginia, who is on the faculty, and I have a uh, a cousin, uh, Cynthia Rose, and she is um, a member of the uh, Board of Trustees, and they kind of uh, coerced me and suggested I'd be a good fit uh, for BCC. Uh, now that I was retired and, uh, you know, I needed, I want to contribute, you know, give something back to the community, um, BCC was an option for me, and it's been a, it's been a good fit. Without BCC as a, uh, as a starting point for me with my education, I, I probably would not have uh, chanced even taking a state police exam. When I learned that my associate's degree uh, more than qualified me to take the exam, it was uh, the beginning of, a, uh, of, of my career. I could have very easily have uh, fallen back into working in the mills, which I had done uh, for, for a number of years. But this gave me an opportunity to um, become a professional person. And, you know, without BCC, I would have uh, definitely been on a path, uh, you know, other than the one that, that, I, that I have now.